Hello, everyone. Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening, good evening sir. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Very good evening. Uh, I think there was some problem with eight standard. I think uh, the both miss both the classes are at uh, the same time. In the sense, uh, science was at uh, seven forty-five and uh, English was is from eight. Eight o'clock. So there is some problem. Uh, but uh, I think sir might have given instruction to eight standard students to join the class. This class, English class. I think yes. Many of the students are joining now. Uh, let them join, students. Uh, with the eight standard, you are going to study uh, English grammar today. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one second. Sir. Ah uh, yes. Sir, can you send me the invitation of the classroom? I don't have it. Ah, uh, Naga Chaitanya, where shall I send you? Sir, can you send the group? It is given, na? Sir, in the chat box, can you? Chat box. Okay, I'm sending it in chat box. But you kept this much late, sir. Class. Ah, uh, what? Like uh, you kept this much late, sir. Class. Your voice is not clear, beta. Sir, class, you kept this much late. Sir, he's asked. He's informing you that why did you keep the class this uh, late, sir? Night about it. See, it's not my fault actually. Your classes have been starting uh, since uh, four or uh, four or five five o'clock in the evening, right? Uh, yes, no. sir. Depends on classes, sir. Sir, 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 actually, I don't sir, know. Sir, 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 like we have science class and it was ended and again class was started. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, we have wasted 10 class. minutes or something. Arguing in the same thing, sir. We have English class. Sir, we don't like. Uh, we don't uh, like uh, listen, listen, everyone. Listen, everyone. Uh, let me finish up with this class. Uh, finish with this class, okay? And afterwards, I'll I'll have a talk with Manoj sir. After that, I'll I'll be means uh, able to tell you what exactly is going on there, right? Okay, sir. So, sir, this class is till nine fifteen. Nine nine fifteen. Yes, nine fifteen or nine o'clock. Uh, because I was there at eight o'clock, but you people have joined the class late. Still, many people are joining right. Now. So when you send invitation. invitation, I have sent in the chat box. Where shall I send you? In Gmail, sir. He's asking. Huh? Invitation in Gmail. Gmail. But I have to then mail mail you, and I don't have your mail ID. Why should uh, I? Send how, I if I click the invitation, it's saying Zoom or uh, Zoom or um, Chrome. Zoom, Zoom. It is on Zoom. Not on Chrome, and I have sent the link already in the group. Uh, I'm sending it again. Okay, yes, in this group I did not send. Yeah, they, they, see this in the group there. CT English Grammar eight nine ten. In this group I have sent the link. Yes, sir, we got it. Okay. And sir, from the previous class I have some doubt from determiners. Determiners. We will take it. Uh, we will take it later on. Uh, Aisha. You tell uh, means you ask me separately that, or else if you people are having problems uh, with the determinants, we will have a talk on that. We will have a discussion class as well if you want. Okay, tomorrow we, we can keep it. And uh, today I'm going to start with the new concept, new class. Okay, new new lesson uh, from grammar, and that is very very important. And uh, uh, that is nothing but the narration. Okay, we are going to study yes, narration sir. today. Do you know what is narration? So it starts with sir. N, right? Narration. What? what? <laughs> starts with uh, N. Uh, telling to someone uh, some lines or any. Narration means uh, describing it's our direct uh, direct speech. Ah, yes, sir, yes. You got describing it. Describing anything in our own words. <laughs> yeah, that is that is the thing that we are going to study right now. 
and that so direct and indirect speech direct and indirect speech okay that is very interesting yes, topic sir. and you will love it a lot okay sir and there are <coughs> types of narration also i think huh? types of do we have types of narration in the sense uh, means uh, what are you asking i am not getting it means types sir, of narration yeah do we there have like more types of uh, uh, means uh, narration there are only two narration so that is direct and indirect okay, okay sir. that is not type okay those are the statements what are those they are the statements now let us understand what a direct and indirect. this uh, students uh, this uh, direct and indirect speech is an integral part uh -huh. of your hello are you getting my voice yes sir yes, so please uh, don't uh, disturb in between okay please mute yourself and listen to me very very carefully okay uh, are you able to see the screen or not no sir no, we can't see now we can see and Can sir i wanted to ask what was discussed in the previous class uh, in the previous class uh, we had a discussion upon determiners okay uh, last time we had discussed and i'll be telling you if you have any doubts about narration so i'll be telling you okay don't worry don't be panic okay we have a lot of time uh, since uh, means we are in just uh, in the may month of may don't worry about it yes one second huh? okay then um uh, i think you are able to see the screen clearly and it is written like the topic name uh, direct and indirect speech that we are going to uh, start today so what exactly direct and indirect speech okay that is also called the reporting speech that is also called the reporting speech and they have some names like statements are given the names like direct and indirect okay direct is something where the in in simple ways if suppose i am telling you something and i am quoting something so that quoted line is a direct speech what is that that is a direct speech okay and whenever my quoted lines or line is been told by someone else in his own words so that will be indirect speech or indirect narration are you getting my point is there yes sir is there any <laughs> confusion no sir okay see what is written what is narration narration is something mm -hmm. where uh, it may be assertion statement declaration anything can be it. okay anything can be it. statement narration means uh, uh, assertion or declaration even it may be uh, said in uh, exclamatory okay sentence even it is in uh, imperative means there are four sentences with us how many sentences are there four sentences and those are that is assertive interrogative uh, interrogation and oh in uh, third one is imperative Excited. Narrative and and exclamatory, 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 and there is one another sentence that is operative. About operative. this, I'll be telling you, okay, later on. But the main four sentences which are with us, the narration is happening with them also, okay, with these sentences. Like assertive sentence has some different rules to change it you know, from direct to indirect speech. imperative sentence interrogative and exclamatory all the four sentences are having different rules to change or transform the sentence from direct into indirect speech ritwik is there any problem ritwik reddy no oh, sir so please be concentrative in the class okay so showing people's exact words or writing or telling the exact words of the people who are speaking quotation marks under quotation marks that is called direct speech what do you call it direct speech direct speech direct speech is something when the audience tell the exact words of the speaker the di means direct speech means 
when the audience actually tell the exact words of the speaker okay in his same words in his means in speaker's same words and those words are uh, put between the inverted commas that is called direct speech okay understood always you keep in mind direct speech always direct speech is always written within inverted commas which commas inverted, inverted commas did you get it always it is and indirect speech is something where these commas are being removed and the speaker's words are transformed into the words of the audience when the audience is telling something about the speaker's words okay i'll tell you one example here okay let us take an example smita said comma inverted comma i am busy i am busy okay another sentence if you will take it ramit said to me comma inverted comma i'll tell you about this as well this is objective case which is used whose i mean sir which subjects objective case is this me what is written i love my parents very much i ask you something which subjects objective case is this the first 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 what sir it is like in a first person form first person and that is i okay it is the objective case yes, of i i i just wanted to know if you know it or not means exact yes. the question is quoted clearly that which subjects uh, objective case is that okay so you might have told like it is the objective case of it is an objective case of i okay so these sentences are telling you that these sentences are written these are written in direct speech where is, are they written they are written in direct yes. speech. Yes. speech okay now what is indirect speech there are two uh, things like what is indirect speech i am just scrolling down because there is no space okay me uh, is it okay for now okay indirect yeah, speech what is indirect speech indirect speech is something when the audience audience means who who listens to the sentence of the speaker okay that is called audience or a listener i would use the word listener okay if i use the word audience so you will get confused with that audience in the sense always the listener okay audience means the listener when the audience or the uh, the the um, listener of the speaker or the sentence tell the statement of the speaker in his own words now in his means in listener's words okay when the listener tells the speaker's words in his his means who listener words it is called and indirect speech did you get it okay it yes. is written sorry it is double t okay written without inverted commas did you get it okay so actually I had doubt uh, you have written here called an indirect speech so it should be an only it is or called a an indirect speech na no? so 
okay yes. article would not be used over there. yeah that's fine it is called indirect speech okay that is not an or what so these sentences may be changed into which speech into indirect speech like smita said now direct speech is having two parts direct speech is having two parts reporting speech whatever i have uh, underlined here that is called the reporting speech and what is reported that is written in between the inverted commas so direct speech is having two parts okay one is reporting speech and another is reported speech so what is reported here this one i am busy i am busy yes. is reported and who report and who is reporting it smita smita, smita. And this statement was said in past that is why it is written as said did you get it yes sir. yes okay once again so the direct speech for that indirect speech for that would be smita said she is busy Uh, yes you had a doubt what was the doubt the doubt was no, no, i didn't say doubt uh, it was not doubt but you told the answer right yes sir so that is what i was telling you smita said i am busy i told you direct speech is having two parts first is reporting speech and another one is reported speech so while doing or while transforming it into indirect speech so what to do whenever we do that so we remove the inverted commas totally so if we are removing the inverted commas it was a pause na here right comma means pause so you have to manage this pause somewhere else so this uh, this statement is written in assertive sentence so while transforming direct speech into indirect speech of assertive sentence we need to use that to join these two sentences smita said and i am busy so smita said that she was busy now the statement is totally changed i will be telling you the rule of this okay i am just telling you that what exactly the indirect speech is means these words were told exactly the speakers were uh, words were told exactly that is called uh, direct speech and when the speakers words are not told in the exact words or uh, uh, exact in his words and they are told in another words okay someone else is using that sentence in his own words that is called indirect speech did you get it yes sir yes sir okay with the example i told you now let us uh, take this slide over here a uh, slide over here direct speech is written in this way like comma inverted comma and afterward the exact words of the speaker indirect speech is written like in in, in this way okay Re inverted commas are uh, uh, removed and some other changes are also experienced over here okay you might have seen here that that is added then instead of i he is added can could not is used okay and find his book his is replaced uh, sorry my is replaced with his so these are some changes that we are going to see here and these are very very important okay because in almost all the uh, sentences the rules are having i mean means uh, different rules are having over there did you get it beta sir here we could uh, we can use he couldn't find his book also right he couldn't yes is the abbreviation you may use with could yes, plus because not. it's can't so we can use couldn't yes is definitely okay so uh, let uh, let let me tell you one thing again i told you about reporting speech and reported speech. once again i'm writing here uh, direct speech two parts first is reporting speech what is reporting speech the statement written out of 
inverted commas b reported speech sorry the statement written within inverted commas did you get it now okay two things i have written over here got it is it clear yes sir okay now i told you or i introduced with the uh, sentences with the sentences that we are going to study uh, almost five sentences over here okay but before that before that i would like to tell you some rules one by one in the sense we will take first assertive then interrogative imperative exclamatory and optative these sentences we will take one by one and the rules will be discussed but what exactly the general rules are there what exactly the general rules means what are the general rules general rules are those rules which are applicable in almost all the sentences understood have you got the point yes sir yes sir okay let me tell you one here see the same things uh, which i told you just now that those are written over here okay no need to explain it now now the basic rules are there in direct speech and indirect speech okay Mm -hmm. now what are the general rules before going for the direct rules over there okay these rules are very very important while studying about the narration what you have to do general rules actually they comprise with three things uh like a change in person second thing in is sorry change in tenses okay these are given rules are given over here like this okay after that third one is change in other parts of speech what are other parts of speech like uh, some words are been changed like suppose you are using now so it will be transformed into then okay if it is written in past tense see it is very very important to see the tense of the direct speech huh? while transforming it are you getting my point yes okay yes sir the first change is that we are going to see about the change in person change in person what what is the person then the person changes see reporting verb if reporting verb subject is first person so in the reported verb as well the subject would be first person definitely if object in reporting verb is given in the direct speech if direct speech is carrying object so for that the second person would be used and suppose third person is used so there would be no changes understood are you getting my point see i'll be telling you or explaining you yes. in a very clear way suppose first person is given in the direct speech direct speech in the sense what the statement which is written in between inverted commas are you getting the point okay keep it in mind direct speech suppose subject is used as first person what are the first person i and we if they are used over there 
so while transforming it into indirect speech the person would be means that that first person would be changed according to the subject which is used in the reporting speech means the speech which is written out of inverted commas for example he sir, i didn't got what you ah, said so just i am telling you uh, through the example you will get to know okay we are seeing the general rules he said to me i am ready i am ready now in this statement where is the first person used between the inverted commas isn't it now who said this statement the subject of the uh, direct speech isn't it are you getting my point yes sir yes sir is there anyone who is who is having problem to get it please raise your hand One, okay i am explaining listen to me very carefully what did i say whenever whenever there is the first person used in reporting verb reporting verb what is the reporting verb the statement which is written out of inverted comma inverted comma isn't it okay now the changes would have uh, sorry i'm sorry i i i told you that the reporting of but it is in reported speech huh? sorry when the first person is used in reported speech so it would be changed in indirect speech according to the subject used in the reporting speech this is reported speech this is reporting speech the first person suppose first person is used in a uh, direct speech and that too in a reported speech so this subject that first person would be changed according to the subject used in reporting speech for example he said to me i am busy now who is busy he is busy subject yes so what would be the sentence he told me he told me now said to would be change into told, told told and listen one important thing whenever there is only said so that time you no need to change or transform it into told you have to use said as it is suppose it is used as said to so that time means in this case you need to transform it into told are you getting my point yes sir yes sir okay so he told me as the sub uh, sentence is written in assertive so that would be he told me that now who was busy he was, he was busy so first person would be changed according to the subject used in reporting speech so he is used so he was he was ready who was ready good now am is transformed into was do you know why did it happen because uh, we are changing into direct. because see the direct speech in any sentence or any statement of direct speech you have to see first of all in which tense is it given whether it is in given uh, is it in given in present past or future accordingly you have to make changes in the reported speech did you get it in the sense suppose yes. here it is written said in the sense and here it is am so am is used in present tense but said is not used in present what is is used there say isn't it but it is said so according to the reporting verb this is reporting verb this reported verb is changed it means when the reporting verb 
is given in past tense so the verb which is used in a uh, reported speech that would be transformed into past that will also i'll be telling you okay here it is it might be removed uh, told see so can you explain with one more example uh one more example okay like yes so yeah. instead of uh, he you can use any name so it would be name, name. okay yes. okay second example i'm telling you about the change into person and that too we are seeing about only one uh thing and that is the first person mm. okay i'm using your name only what okay, is your sir. name aisha aisha say to her friend say to her friend i am preparing or not preparing cooking do you know cooking yes uh, not nice. not really i am cooking <laughs> delicious food today okay or if you are not using today so it will be better because you'll be confused there okay aisha said to her friend i am cooking delicious food what would be the changes here i was telling you that the first person which is used in reported speech that would be changed according to the person or the subject which is used in the report uh, reporting speech see don't be confused uh, did you get with reporting and reported speech yes sir i got yes, that sir. what is reporting reporting means uh, the subject the which is saying the statement which is written out of, of inverted out of inverted comma out of and uh, uh, reported speech is written in in inverted commas between or within inverted commas did you get it yes sir so don't be confused okay other students don't you have any doubts or a, anything else to speak beta only two students are speaking in the class what about others you all are sir you said no sir i understood huh? sir you said for me no sir i understood what Okay. Well, you are understanding what I was just saying. Okay, okay, you are understanding. Okay, <laughs> then it's a very, very nice thing that you are understanding. Oh, no. Okay, no. let me transform it. Whose uh, name is written here? Aisha. Aisha, Aisha is Aisha. a third Aisha. person subject. Which person third is this? Person. Third person. Because this statement now, whatever is quoted there, it is not a. spoken by aisha but someone is telling the third person is also telling about aisha that aisha said to her friend means aisha and her friend uh, her friend uh, they are speak they were speaking there and someone was listening to them and who was listening to them now that person is telling the statement of aisha to someone else did you get it yes sir uh, that yes, is sir. now suppose i heard this suppose i heard this so i would transform the words of aisha into my own words so how would i i would have to change the person first so aisha told her told to her friend that i am cooking delicious food aisha told her friend that He was. She is cooking. She was. That she was cooking delicious food. She, she was, was cooking. Cooking. Delicious food. Delicious food. Did you get it now? Yes. Sir. She is yes, used sir. for whom? Aisha. Because Aisha. Now the gender would also be matter. Means it would also matter there. Aisha is feminine. Fem feminine gender. So she would be used. Suppose there would be the name of any boy. So. he would be used over there did you get it better yes sir yes sir were any confusion yes sir oh sir, sir it was simple no, but when you were speaking it I, i just felt it hard oh, okay you found it very hard to understand okay it means i teach very hard 
in the sense yes. not in simple language okay yes sir yes. i use some oh uh, yes sir we understood sir oh my god okay now rule number 2 about person oh. suppose reported speech is having the subject of second person what is the second person in english only one that is you in english there is only one second person and that is you why you because in the conversation there are two people one is speaker and another is listener so always you is considered the listener of the statement did you get it so in english there is only one second person and that is you suppose i am talking one person or i am talking more than one people still one person would also be you for me and many people would also be you for me okay so whenever the statement is used you for example i am just telling you with example let us understand this uh, this was all about the first person okay second person change or changes through example we will try to understand he said to me you are late it is written you are late are you are you listening to me yes sir yes sir try to understand it very clear now whenever the statement of direct speech is written and in that case object is also used over there what is the object here me in this case object is used as any object over there and suppose you is written so second person in indirect speech would be changed according to the object used in reporting speech example oh, sorry he told me that i was late now try to understand this why i is used because the statement which is written in a uh, reported speech it is it is starting with second person and that second person is belonging to the object in the reported speech sorry reporting speech so me is used i initially ask you that object me is belonging to which subject i according according to this object the subject would be changed into indirect speech did you get it or not yes sir yes sir one thing yes, i'm sir. telling you here one thing i'm telling you here like uh, this is subject this is object and this is third person simple way to understand suppose reporting work subject is given uh, any any subject is given like he she aisha wagera wagera whatever and in in, in uh, sorry in direct speech uh, i is used or v is used so this i and v would be changed according to the subject according to the subject which subject this subject in the reporting speech object suppose object is given so second person would use or would be changed according to this object change according to object okay and it is written and means there would be no change if 
रिपोर्टिंग स्पीच एंड रिपोर्टेड स्पीच बोथ आर यूजिंग थर्ड पर्सन इफ थर्ड पर्सन इज यूज इज इट क्लियर no one sir. yes sir very simple thing i am written over here uh, like uh, s o n it it belongs to what subject it belongs to what object and no change okay suppose in reported speech first person is used so it will be a change according to the subject suppose object is used over there any object so second person will be used second person i am writing suppose third person is used so there would be no changes third person example shall i give you yes third sir third person example shall i give you yes sir okay his he said to his mother it is uh, used as a proper noun proper noun would not be changed at all okay she was looking beautiful at the party anyone can praise his mother okay okay sir do you praise or not your mother always praise her otherwise she will not help you out there at home okay okay sir she he but it does not matter over here but his mother is also belonging to what she because it is masculine uh, feminine gender he uh, he told his mother that she was looking beautiful at the sorry at the party now see is there any change in she there is no change in she it means if the third person is used in the reporting uh, sorry reported speech that would not be changed over there understood the same word or same subject would be used as it is did you get it yes sir okay. this subject may have different means they may be different okay from person to person in the sense he may be used she may be used it they i we whatever okay but this will not change at all in the indirect speech did you get it yes sir okay so one chart i am preparing over here just to go through that one chart i am going to prepare over here let me insert something table <coughs> sir this book is made by you ha beta actually this, uh, it takes time to <coughs> prepare the notes <coughs> i have been teaching since 9 years so the things are been prepared over there where is it where is my table who stole who stole it oh where is it it is not so to mother says it is 
not doing properly right? let it be let it go okay so the changes in the speech uh, i'll be to miss this this might have told you but uh, still i'm telling you okay persons then uh, subject object Possessive. Possessive a is having two parts, like uh, possessive adjective and possessive pronoun. Okay. My drawing is not that much good. Please bear it. Definitely, we have three persons. Sorry, first person, I, and we. I is having objective me. We is having objective us. It is a uh, adjective as my. Pronoun is mine. Are, ours. Second person, you only. So its object is also you. This is your and possessive is yours. It is very simple to understand. Third person, he, she, it, and they he she it and they one this chart is very very important while studying the narration okay yes, sir. he objective case is him possessive case is his and possessive pronoun is also his she her okay uh, adjective, uh, what are the columns below possessive huh? what we are the column columns possessive adjective and possessive pronoun this is pronoun okay. this is adjective it so it is having uh, it only objective and possessive adjective is its its possessive pronoun is not in english okay and now they them, their, and theirs. Okay, this is a chart that you have to keep in mind always. I have written it, but I think it is uh, visible to all properly. My handwriting is not that much good. I know that, but you must take a screenshot of it and keep it with you. Did you get it? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, the she is possessive pronoun. Mm -hmm. Sorry, her. That is hers. H-E-R-S. Hers. Okay. Dear students, did you get all whatever I have written over here? Yes, sir. So one okay, yes, sir. Rola. Okay. No, sir. Up. Not the Sir, so actually, I had some doubt in the determiners. Uh, Aisha? Yes, sir, it's a very small doubt. You can uh, hear it. You ask, ask. Yes, sir. Ask me your doubt. Uh, sir, you should, you should be opening that. Uh, okay, let others write. Uh, did you write all? Also, one second. One second, sir. Yes, sir. One second. Uh, let me take a doubt there. Determines. Yes. What happened? Uh, in this uh, use of definite article, the is there. 
use of definite article the omission of the ah oh, yes there are i think 17 uh, rules i have written. yes sir in that fourth one can you explain before singular nouns which signify the whole class or race yes sir okay so it is yes, very sir. very simple uh my cat likes milk my cat likes milk now this particular cat is means it likes milk okay it belongs to whom me but suppose uh, is it correct that only my cat likes milk no i think almost okay, all cats they like milk isn't it so suppose you have to tell the class of that particular animal that time you have to use the the cat likes milk it means now it is including the whole race or whole class of that particular animal and that too is used in singular form like the cow is the cow sorry is considered sorry sorry a holy animal is it correct yes sir we actually worship cow the cow right it means the whole class of cow whether the cow is residing in america or in france or japan or in india uh, i i should not use the names of those countries but in india whether the cow is in kashmir or in tamil nadu doesn't matter but that cow or those we are the cows which are here they are worshipped they are considered holy animal here in the indian continent well, not indian continent but in the country of india that animal is is considered as holy animal means yeah. whenever i use the before cow so the is representing all the cows yes sir did you get it yes sir i got it yes and sir one more thing can you explain characteristics of determiners characteristics yes characteristics are means just what, what how do we use them that is only the characteristics and how do they help us like determiners introduce or, or uh, signal that a noun or a noun phrase will follow and then give information about them means before Uh, sorry after determinant there would be nouns and what they are doing in the sentence that information would be given by the determinant if suppose it is quantifier or it is uh, definite it is demonstrative what is that okay to what class the noun is belonging class in the sense i'm not telling you about uh, the parts of speech but the work of the noun in the sentence they may tell whether the item or noun is general or specific general in the sense suppose o oh, an is used so general the is used to so definite okay or specific they are uh, they can quantify nouns or tell about ownership of nouns as well ownership in the sense possessive determiners at the last it is given see possessive this one possessive my your is her its are there okay these also whenever they are called as possessive determiners if they are used before the noun see what example is given that is your house okay that is your uh, sorry this is your house or oh, sorry your bike i'm sorry yes. this is your bike whose bike means this bike belongs to whom you or it is your bike did you get it huh? yes again that is our small house that is our small house means 
आर इज यूज बिफोर द नाउन इट मीन्स इट इज वर्किंग एज पजेसिव मीन्स वॉट इज पजेसिव पजेसिव मीन्स इट बिलोंग्स टू समन और सम इट बिलोंग्स टू सम ओके और समथिंग बिलोंग्स टू सम something belongs to someone that is possessive okay sir understood yes sir okay. now i get it okay is there any doubt no sir no sir thank you no doubt sir so no sir class is over now no doubt uh the recording uh, yes, will be posted there on youtube channel as well as uh, your class in google classroom also just go through them if uh, go through the videos if you are not video if you are not uh, understood anything over there okay and suppose you have any problem so you may ask in the support and feedback group okay i'll be responding yes. yeah thank yes, you very much for joining the class bye. have a nice time good night thank you sir. thank, thank you sir, sir. bye